Um, Liam, I think Brian Horton is the only man with Hull City connections to have won here as a player and as a manager. So for, for you personally, how does that feel before we dive into the game? Well, Brian Horton's a bit of a legend, so it's nice to be in his esteemed company. Um, it's not about me. Uh, I was an outstanding character performance. I thought our football performance today was probably, uh, we, lo we lost the two previous games. Um, our football performance was probably worse than that today. But all I've spoken to the players about since the QPR game is about togetherness, spirit, um, coming out said about coming out swinging you know when things feel like they're going against you you lose games that you probably should win uh, you start getting injuries in your squad uh, for us to achieve what we need to achieve we need all 25 players in this group to buy in and that's what today was all about I mean the substitutes came on Adama was magnificent Docs came on excellent Maka was great and Ozan Tufan when he engages himself like that and when he puts that energy in this finish was absolutely top um, and it makes me feel a really proud manager today to, to have that group represent me. Yeah, I would add to that that every substitute I think that came on showed, well, 100% of their ability because the way that they hunted every ball down, there was pace whenever they went forward. That just shows, as you say, that this is a full squad but performance that you need to you, get three to, points away. To get that, you need spirit and you need character. And, and, and there's a lot. Every time I pick a team, the players who aren't in the starting 11 are going to be disappointed. Um, but what I've banged on about from the first moment stepping in, to be successful in the championship, everyone needs to buy in. It's about team spirit. It's about the dynamic of the group. It's about personalities and people and character. Because in the championship, you cannot play well every week, but you can still get results. You know, And a couple went against us. And I was... I was excited today to see what is the mentality of us as a group, me included. And, and I think we come through that, being 1-0 down at a very good team, away from home, to, at half time, to come back the way we did and to stick in there and to fight for each other. I mean, the last bit where Ryan's made three unbelievable saves, but every single player has thrown himself in front of the ball to stop it, celebrating together as a team in front of the goal. Something I'll never forget as a manager because that's all you can really ask for. Um, the other thing as well, when you made those three substitutions, was it more based on tactics or performance? Yeah, it was every, every decision you make is based on tactics. Every, you, trust me, I think about every every aspect. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. I went to a diamond, and diamond press left uh, Liam and Aaron up the pitch a little bit with Ozan in the 10 position to support him. Sometimes these things work, sometimes they don't. But fortunately, it's not about the decisions I make, it's about the engagement of the players. You know, if Ozan Tufan doesn't perform like that, nobody talks about my, my tactical changes. If Maka doesn't come on and defend the box and Doc's giving us the energy that he gives us in Adama, what summed up Adama, there was a tackle second half. Uh, for him to come in and, and give that to the team, that it's down to them, it's not down to me. It's, put, it's putting your body on the line, yeah. isn't it? Two, two blocks of Hull City fans tonight, they've, decided, they've, they've made their way, they could have you know, stayed and watched it on, on national television, yeah, man. but this is what this is what football's all about, yeah. they're giving you loyalty home and away, but and unbelievable. getting you over the line for Saturday as well. With 12 days of Christmas, it's a difficult time of year for economically for everyone. Um, and I, I said, I went over, as well, the lads were warming up, I went over to the fans before the game to thank them for coming. And by the way, I could hear them all the way through the game. They stayed with us, even when we were going through a difficult moments in the game when we were 1-0 down. And I keep saying it's about everyone being together. And I'm so happy that I've given those, those die-hard fans today something to go home home smiling about. And normally, I won't reference normally things you say in the dressing room, but I think we overheard you and you said that you absolutely love tonight. And was, was it that you, this is the proudest you've been as manager at this football well, club? Have so you got a spy in the dressing room? It was me, just with my um, little ears. No, yeah, like, there's certain things you can be proud of your football performance, which I've been proud of for 90% of the season. Um, but this league isn't just about style of play or building from the back. It's about, a, a, it's about character, it's about desire and passion, and it's about team spirit. And that's the proudest I've been just because we've shown that in bucket loads against what I think is a very good team and a team we're going to be up there at the end of the season. It's another tough test on Saturday as well. I know we haven't really dissected this game yet, but yeah. Cardiff as well are knocking on the door of the top I think, six. I think every team in the championship is. and, and that we, I think the last week has shown if we're not at the right level, if we're not at the right engagement, in every aspect, whether that's football, whether that's character or personality, you can lose games at this level. So we have to rest not long till the next game, but I think there's going to be a really good atmosphere after tonight and hopefully we can make it six points from two games.